Well, today's escapade is to um, Dream Beery, or Woods Croft as it is known. But before we got started, Carl spotted this old ruin lying by the side of the road. What sort of car is it then? Go on. A little Hillman Imp. A what? Hillman Imp. My sister and I had one each when we were starting to drive. Mine was to sing a chamois, the posh version. Here's the Hillman Imp. Little engine, the engine, probably climax. It's nearly good to go, isn't it? Well, <laughs> I think it's generally a bit more than a touch up. Rear engine, rear wheel drive. Well, it was an alternative to the Mini in the late 60s, early 70s. I always thought it was a 2CV that was here. No. no. <laughs> <laughs> oh well. <coughs> oh, a little bridge. And I see there's loads of berries on the tree, ash tree. Oh wow. Thanks to me, we're going to have a hard winter, they tell me. Who is Dave? You look well there, my love. I can't hear you. I'm just going to see if I can get a picture. Well, the bridge. What? Off the bridge. No, of the water. Yeah, that'd be a good idea. See if it can slip. Oh, oh that's nice. Wow. Flowy and deep. How deep is it? Do you want to put your foot in? Do you? Oh, it's people. Probably a little bridge, isn't it? It is. Right, I'm getting up. It's kind of like steps, aren't they? Well, oh. Come on in, my love. Let's go. Got the heavy gear on today because I know from my last time that I did this with Lou, she got stuck in the mud and it was so funny. Yeah, but you're evil, aren't you? Hey? You are evil. <laughs> Oh. Is there another way across now? Did that go up there? Are you kidding me? That's looking a bit deepish. Well, you were the one who said, let's go and do it with that. And you're walking normally, I've got to walk this way on my hands. Don't slip. You might be safer just going through it, you know. What? This way. How deep is it, Rox? So Penny and Carla are now going to traverse this little stream. Oh, Penny, you just ruined my vision. Miss both my boots. You want to see? Yeah. So that's the first uh, girdle na over navigate navigated. We'll be glad of that later when we're covered in mud. Wade <laughs> through, wash the dogs, get a bath. Well, life's full of little treasures, isn't it? I still think you're a cheapskate. We could go on holiday or something, you know? Never be like this, my love. 
So that's the footpath to uh, Ballasail and onwards. <sighs> We're going to pass Ballasail shortly. No, no, come on. There. I haven't brought no buttons today, nothing, no water. God. It's nice to hear organised, isn't it? <sighs> the first thing they tell you. Got the camera though, right? Been a bit of a flop today, hasn't it? Already. My hand won't fit in my pan. No. But just the good photo that does. Like you said, we, we could have been sitting in the pub drinking today. <sighs> oh, we've got two miles to go. <laughs> That's the thing, it's, it's not far, but it's a. Uh, uh, Trekky, isn't it? So there's a keel up here somewhere. Apparently so. Hasn't got a name. We'll find it. That's where we're coming from. The road down there. The Passpell Hinn and Widen Stables. Two days of September, 2024. Mm. The world's in a state of possibly nuclear war. And we're going to carry on regardless. Don't watch the news, you watch it religiously, don't you? I prefer to keep my eyes blinkered. Do you? Yeah, you just end up worrying too much. That might be all the best way. Oh look, I can see the pub from here. You did say there was a pub up here, didn't you? <laughs> <laughs> oh wow! down quite a bit. Oh, oh. Jesus. What? That there! <laughs> <sighs> Looks like we're not going in there then. <laughs> That's what I was talking about. That there. Howling cattle. <sighs> so I love it's fenced out. Right. We've done a video on Ballasail. 
is now actually you're not allowed to go visit it when I did it, it was actually unfenced Mr Kane farmed this for many years in that barn there's a lovely old mill and you can just see on the grassy mound outside the mill the actual horse um, oh yeah well, the horse uh, attacked me Oh, well, whatever. Huh, wow. Still got his harness. Oop! Doing that. Someone farmed. Oh, weary glass is along here. Oh, is it right? Yeah, there's nothing much of it left. Oh, uh, I think I know what you mean then. Oh my god, there's loads of them. Roxy, come here. They're following us. Are they babies? You can't say that. You can't <laughs> you. Oh, God. I hope they can't get out because I've got rubber shoes on to run. Well, one may do. We can't run anyway. Though, aren't they? What are they called? Well, the one with the curly horns and the brown goes in the Highland cattle. I don't know these others. They look like Aber Aberdeen Angus to me. The old men? I don't know. I'm not going to get that close to check. <laughs> You're a wimp. Oh, here we go. How deep is it, Pen? Go through there and tell me how deep it is, Rob. I'll do it. Oh, my God. It's not that bad. You never think she'd be a ballerina, would you? <laughs> oh wow! And the fun begins. Oh. Why didn't I walk round it? Why did you tell me you got through I don't it? No, why you didn't? <laughs> hey? Shame, really. <laughs> right. Hey, look. What's that? A pile of stones, isn't it? <sighs> well, it can't just be a pile of stones, do you? Definitely a proper croft over there, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Huh. I how you get there. Probably yeah. in that car from down there. Yeah, it's the top of Glen Helen, isn't it? Is it? Yeah. <laughs> Everywhere. Come on, pen over. Is the boys coming to check us out? We've got a great vista of the countryside from here. So that's Bella Sail. Those trees there just on the horizon. Yeah. There's a ruin called Airy Glass. All right. There's nothing left, but there is another mill over there, so I fancy having two fashion mills so close to each other. What tree on the horizon are you talking about? Just those, that tree there. Roxy, here! Here! That's called Airy Glass. It's in one of the books. There's and, loads. Um, Stanley Quirk last lived here. And Moved out here in 1930 to Kinsloo, over the hill behind those trees behind you there. The pointy one, right over there. Yeah. There's a massive big shed there, yeah. Yeah. He walked. His family walked from here with a cart 
and the furniture over that hill, over the wow. top where those trees are now. So where is the, where's the old ruin? Just where that tree is there? Yeah, not oh, that's right. totally knocked down. All oh, right. And then this family moved from here to there, a place called Kinsloo. He's still alive. I think he's three or four, he said, when he left here. Isn't that Belig plantation over there? No, it'll be Griever there. Oh, it's Griever. So Belig's over there then, isn't yeah. it? Right, OK. <laughs> like little puppies and their ears. Oh, oh there's one with, oh, look at that one with the big horns there. You yeah, see it? That one's got your name all over it, love. Oh, God, probably. Come on, then. <laughs> Looks very overgrown, this lot. It always has been, really. Yeah, I don't think it gets trimmed, does it? No. It's like when, when I came with Lou, it was overgrown and extremely muddy. For folks who don't know Lou, she's Lou with the hip. <laughs> if she watches this, that'll make her laugh. If you ever meet Carl, and nobody ever has the right name. No. I think there's a tinny quite now, and there's about a dozen people go in. Ah! There's not one name with the right name. They have to guess, but usually they're right, because, you know, I'd name them by personality and looks or whatever. Never yeah. insulting. Well, I, I don't think so. chat with Carl that she works in there a few nights a week. <laughs> Always glad to see anybody. Very hospitable. You make it sound like it's the most barren pub in the world. Well, that's his mum, was it? It was busy last night. We had a picture the other day with you, Billy, with your mates. No. <laughs> with you. Me with all me mates. It's like a proper river, this, isn't it? It's not as bad as I thought it was going to be. Isn't it? No. It looks bleeding muddy to me. No, but oh. it has been worse. And horse walked. <gasps> is that what it is? Because yeah. I'm, I'm half expecting a, a bloody cow or something to turn up. Oh, God. Always handy when you bring your own with you. Shut up. Oh, shit. It's a horrible sound of squid. Unfortunately, folks, there's not much of a viewpoint today, Vista Wise. You want to go off and make yourself a cup of tea? Now's the time. So we got more land. We're nearly there. <laughs> Said our aim today is to beery. Or woods craft to find. Ow! Oh, you want to name it? Got a bit of fish here about, which we'll talk as we get nearer to it. Oh, do you know what? I remember coming up here. Oh, God, that. <gasps> With them, um, Steve and our bikes. Ow! And we pushed them all the way up here. Ended up trying to hop in the field. What a nightmare. We was trying to find Dreambeery, but still didn't find it. Ended up going across 
the Greaver Mountain and coming out, you know, at Greaver Bridge. Oh yeah. I remember bumping into a farmer. She was saying, uh, like these cows have got mad cow or something. Yeah, so. When you caught them, was it? <laughs> so we were kind of panicked, trying to get down the hill and not trampled on and all this. <laughs> Happy days. No, I, I thought it might have been worse. I don't remember what time of year I came with Lou. Probably about February. Yeah. You've seen the video, haven't you? I have. It is funny. Forest, which is on our left as we walk up here, was established in 1934. Spruce, I suppose. About 20 acres in total. It's a fenced off area there. I wonder if that's the key. Just looks like a sheep thing. Oh, <clears throat> a bad path is just very uneven. The horses have been trapping a bit. If this, the, this is the path that the little people trampled to get away from the mill. I'm not sure which mill it was. You said it was the one down at the lake. Uh, Timwood Mill. So it, it's right in where Timwood Mills is. You can see it. Probably someone lives there now. But you can see it. And apparently the little people, the fairies, were sick of the noise of the mill. So they trampled on up to Beery Mountain to go and live. This is a bit overgrown. Well, <laughs> <Wow. sighs> uh, are you okay there? I thought you were about me, darling. <laughs> wow, this is a woo! Getting prickled. Hey, I know we can say we can take the easy way, can we? Why didn't you go up on the quad way? <laughs> As I think today, it would have been a good idea. Well, there you go. Not bad. <sighs> right, let's have a look. The gas pipeline's been through you somewhere by the sign. So it's quite obvious this keel but we should be able to see it somewhere. So well, now we're exiting onto the moorland. <clears throat> so it's that way somewhere. Oh, Roxy, scatty head. Uh, I'll just see if... Well, on the basis we're coming back the same way. Yeah. Why don't we walk up to Dream Beery anyway and see cats are find that on the way back. Yeah. Makes sense? Well, we can do. It, it's down there somewhere anyway. Carl's a... pointing us to the right of where we're standing. It's in that forest, maybe. It's not in the forest. It's right at the side of the field. All right, well, we'll go down and have a look afterwards. Yeah, because of, yeah. Hey, 
feathers out in its bloom, or just coming out, I should say, maybe. Planning some little Fulton shows in the new year at the Tinney. Discussing the books one, two, and three. So the first will be the end of January, volume one. So it includes a dinner and me talking. Just you talking, is it? Well, Carl is going to be there too to guide me. Oh. I probably won't get a word in edgeways, to be fair. There's a hole there. She's there. Uh, what? Always good to advise me, are you, darling? <laughs> I usually had to ring her up to see what I'm doing that day. <clears throat> You'll appreciate me one day. Yeah, maybe. This path meanders on for a long time. Doesn't actually achieve anything. Oh. Take you to your destination. And uh, at the top of the path you can turn left or right. We're going to go to the right, I hope. <coughs> Where you end up at Greenberry? Is it Beery or Berry? Beery. Yeah? Yeah. As I said, the other name was Woods Croft. We'll try a little bit when we get there, how the connection came about. Actually quite mild this really isn't it? Well I've got a coat on and I'm too hot. No, I meant the terrain, I thought it was worse. Oh right. Yeah. No, it's not too muddy. I've had worse. Oh. Little footpath signs aid, yeah. Your markers, so you know where you're going. I can't believe I cycled my bike up here. Real bike as well. God. Yeah, but you're younger then. Ha. Huh. Many years ago now. How do them dogs know it's that way? I think this path splits into two. I think it does. Oh, this out, it's a one, it's a one way system, you know, in case it gets busy up here. And again, folks, I'm told what to do. Whew. Oh. warm so so we're coming up to the uh, style must be taking the right hand fork anyway it's a lovely day though to be fair to be out and about
Big hole here, dear. videos to buy a Manx band called Back to the Crown. Very kind of them would use their music without worrying about copyright issues. We go see what we do with Manx. No, much, no singing, just instrumental. It's that there's authenticity. YouTube, you're missing out. There's 80 odd videos on there for the Isle of Man. Some glens, rivers, fountains, us. Cost you nothing. I don't pest you. I don't pay anything. We've got about 700 subscribers. And we've got a 4K TV that will actually print or publish it in 4K. Facebook page too for messages. <laughs> there's a hole there. And uh, there's a hole here. <laughs> oh, I think I actually saw it, my love. So, we've, I would say we're about halfway now if you want to measure it up. I yeah, thought we were at the road then. Be careful about dogs because there are cattle, but they are fenced off the path. So where are we heading, Carla? Dream baby. Yeah, where's the... Uh, can you see the place? Yeah, I can if you come here. You haven't shut that gate. Quite clear, really. It seems like the last time, well, all the times I tried to find it, I just couldn't see it as clear as now. Maybe it's because I know where it is. How the hell did you miss that? So that's where we're heading. I just dream beery, a woods croft. <sighs> so we walk up on a metal path now and come over a little bridge. Hey, I haven't traversed. The Borneo jungle to get here. We could have walked up to them. Um, I don't know where would be. Hey, Pan. Randy Wow parked the car and walked along this lovely easy road. But hey, who wants to do stuff easily? So we're halfway towards Dream Beery. It's a lovely metal road to do it, do it any weather. And it's just on the hillside behind us as I've done the video of it. And uh, there's a few things to see in the way. So you don't have to worry about it being muddy, is what I'm saying. Oh, I've just seen the road that we need to walk up. Oh yeah. Oh, all the way up that way, and then back along that way. Nothing gets really past you, does it? Mm. You're just a genius. You said that we didn't need to eat today, either. Well, I've had my food. It's just your fault. You get that hmm, folks? That tells a lot. You're making cheese, are you? It, no, yogurt, sorry. Isn't it yogurt? How? How are you making yogurt? Go on, tell me. Because you, you say when I pull a funny face, are you making yogurt or something? Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's an old expression. That face could curdle milk. That look, I should say. So we're meandering down this track. Bit overcast, but it's all right. Not many sheep about. It's quite strange, really. Some of the plantations are actually dead. 
And you see that one there across there? For some reason that's all dead. I don't know why. And there's a, just that. The bottom is a little track, there's a lovely little bridge. Can you see the marker stones there? The white one there and there. Yeah. Good eh? Wonder what what do they mark then? Um to be fair, it could be marking Dream Beery. If you were heading this way, it would tell you in the dark that it's not far to go. Yeah, we're everywhere we go on these hillsides, there's yeah, all yeah. these big granite... And, like, they stand out, don't they? Yeah, big granite boulders, and they do stand out in the dark as well as daylight. Unless they're sheep. We'll just see if they move. Well, I prefer the fact that you think the granite boulders, really, stands more romantic than <laughs> mangy old Scotty sheep. Now, well, strangely enough, down on this hillside here, there's an awful lot of markers carved. Yeah, someone's been busy putting see, them around. You just couldn't get lost up here, could you? No, them markers that were ahead of us, they're moving. Yeah, and I've never seen granite stone with horns on it before. Hey, we well, haven't lived. I haven't, obviously. It's an education being with you, my love. Yeah, it is. Markers everywhere! Do you know what this little bridge is called? No. Is it in your book? I don't think, no. I don't know. I don't, I don't think that has a name on it. No, you didn't. You just put that there was a, an iron bridge or something. There was, when I was here, it was a green metal bridge. I don't know, it looks like it's wood now, but maybe they changed it. Um, let me have a look. It's the Blaber River, though. Yeah, this, this river is called the Blaber. It runs down into Glen Helen. And the other river, what's the other one called on the other side? Hey, and it says something about large granite stones, dotted here and there. So <laughs> there we are, the sheepy stones. No, I can't see nothing about your little bridge here. Oh, yeah, I was going to remember. The other river that comes into Glen Helen is the Renass River. So these two converge at the top of Glen Helen to the little bit of waterfalls. So if you ever wanted to know where to start this one, folks, this is the hill. And it came from right up there, down through that gully. So start right at the top of that hill, I'm guessing. And all the water from these hills would flow down into it. I wonder what blaber means in Manx. Oh, I did, I English, didn't. stupid boy. I didn't look up that, uh, look at that rain cloud. I did look up Beery and it was just telling me, <laughs> I Googled it and it was just telling me to do with bears and land. Bears in the Isle of Man? Yeah, I know. <laughs> was this when you were in that pub that night? <laughs> yeah, I had the sheep markers to get me home. Mm, so you're still walking, folks. <laughs> We are so lucky. Well, I have to mean more about the other man and man, so I'm prone to mean it. But look at it. We're out here today. There's only us in the dark, isn't that? It's so bad. We're out in some of the past and the lake district or anywhere in England. There'll be people everywhere. We have a world to ourselves and we still don't, don't appreciate it. It's amazing what sort how, of feelings do you get then? It's amazing how noisy it is on that bridge, obviously. But like what? How noisy it is. And then just coming out of the bridge, it's lovely. You just, it's like feeling at peace. It's great. So there's the river coming down to an ass under the little bridge. Has been changed. So the last time I was here, it was a wooden bridge. Yeah. Green steel bridge. And she meanders down around the corner into Glen Helen.
So I think this uh, road eventually or track where it is ends up in Greba. Yeah, Greba Bridge, and it, yeah. it'll go all the way to um, through Little London and to Kirk Michael. Right down to Kirk Michael as you cross that road. Yeah. Yeah. Um, well, at one time this would have been the main. I was just going to say that. To these places, they yeah. wouldn't bother about going round corners. No. Straight over the better. Straight Boston over the Park top. Travers this quite well. And then one, when they got to Brandywell, they'd either take the Druidale Road, that would take them down into Balaf, or they'd go into Kirk Michaels, Carla says. I wonder why they just didn't bother going, you know, outskirts roads, or just, why'd they just cut straight across the top? Well, effort, isn't it? You know, the horse and cart, it wouldn't matter whether it was up or down, they'd just do it anyway, it wouldn't be any faster whether it was on like a coast or not. Take forever. Is this that road? The, the um, MHK from Montpellier travelled to go down to Castle Russian, wasn't it? Well, you would, probably would be. Yeah. Well, and that, that one with the Kiosch thing, I wonder if this was the road. What was they mean by the Kiosch? Remind me again. The last man hanged. Yeah. So they travelled by horse and cart with him on the back to go to Castle Russian. Right. So... This, if this was the main road, this would have been it that went up through Salty Well, over the tops, past the Druidale bit, and it leads out onto this road. I don't really believe they do that, but you may be right. Well, it's 1872, so... Yeah, but I don't know when the Glen Helen roads, they were probably running then. Uh, I don't know. So we're meandering along this track by the fence. Oh, I can see it! Carl's got excited. We really did fail without the celebratory buddies, you know. I'm disappointed. So Ray woke up too late. The ham wouldn't fit in the pan. Now we've got no buddies. We got each other, love. What? We've got each other. I'm not nibbling on you. Oh, thank God. I thought it was a river then. <sighs> I'm okay. Yeah, you are, love. See, I don't slip as much in these shoes. Really? Yeah. But just ahead of us there is the Dream Beery. I feel like I'm carrying big stones on my feet, though. Well, I must do it. I'm glad to see it. What? Dream Beery. Tell me about that bomb you're talking about then, Carla. You want to go find the bomb? No, I don't want to find the bomb, but you can tell me your version. When I came up here with Lou, we'd had our sarnies. And then there was like, a, obviously exploring around this sort of like this heap of stone. And just inside the stone was this sort of old soldier box sort of thing, you know, like a tin war box. And right. I was like, oh, wow, Lou, I think I found a bomb. So I kicked it to make sure it wasn't a bomb. And yeah, it wasn't. Here I am. <laughs> Sometimes you wonder, folks, don't you? Sometimes you wonder. I'm glad it didn't explode, my love, because I'd be walking away on my own. Well, you'd have had something more to talk about up here, wouldn't you? Well, that stupid cow who kicked that bomb up here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what a dippy cow. It's quite uh, a lot more to it than I remembered last time I was here. Me too. Um, not sure if we should reveal the location of the box because it's a it's a challenge thing, isn't it? You know, it's like searching for eggs. Geocache thing, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, you see them quite often these old ruins. Actually, we did it the other one, didn't we? Yeah. Sorry, let's see if we can find it again. Had some outbuildings too, by the looks of it. Yep. <sighs> mm. 
We're here. Found it. You know, man. It's not moved. Oh. So this is what you. This is me. This is the war box. <laughs> this is what Carla kicked. I thought it was a bomb. No, it's what you keep bullets in or something, isn't it? Yeah. so we can see what's in it. Uh, rubbish. Little notebook. Oh, you didn't touch the pen, have you? Oh. Ah, it's interesting. Hold on. Oh, it's a ge geocation, something or other. A little figure. Staples for fencing. <laughs> hey, car. Thank you, car. And an action figure. All right. Let's see what the book says. Do with a better bag. Slew Roy and Grieve a loop. Number four, the old house. Enjoy the news. 2011. Last time it was open was 13 years ago. 2011, it can't be 13 years ago. Is that when me and Lou came? No, because Roxy was here. We didn't write in it though. Yes, I know we've written it, but it doesn't appear I haven't been here, does it? Still roaming, 2012. Nah, no, see, 2012. It's pretty cool, isn't it? Mm. Go walk around. What are you thinking about that? <laughs> so we'll have a little scout around the uh, little abode. Lovely use of the big granite boulders in the walls. Not sure when it's built, but it is concrete. And um, quite ornate because they're going to put bricks around the windows. Mm. They must have cut the bricks up here from somewhere. I guess that must have been the porch way, way in. Not what I call massive. Hey, okay, on a dark winter's night. You'd be glad to be in here. We get a better view from up here. What you'd be waking up to every morning. That view. Hello. Come in, Carl, have a cup of tea with me. Sit by the fire. If only we brought some tea. Well, I did suggest it, but I was poo hooed as normal. You bloody didn't. Lovely. So were those, uh, the forest in the distance is Beery Mountain, I think. And behind that you end up going to uh, Brandywell. Doesn't look like there's, uh, would that have been the fire? Yeah. Hmm. Don't think there was an upsta upstairs, I don't know. <laughs> Penny, lie down there. Lie down. Down. Good girl. Right, so we normally have a look 
little bit of a chat about what we think and what we've done and where we've been and what it was like and it was a little bit more challenging than I thought especially going walking up through that little track which is about the Borneo jungle but other than that to let you open it's nice if you wanted to be cheeky you'd come along from the Brandybell road wouldn't you oh yeah So uh, we think this was built around about 1860, wasn't it? Yeah, and it was a Cornish design. Yeah, it explained the, wind, the bricks around the window. Right, I see. Uh, well, what's the connection with Mr Woods? Well, so it, it's all the name. It, it is Dream Beery, which I think is a lovely name, but it also is called Woodscroft. And Woodscroft, Woods, originally were Butchers and Peel. And they owned um, Bala Ellison, or Bala Ellis, at one time as well, and they sold that to Mr. Kane, I think, at one time. So they've been around in this area quite a while. So we need to do a bit of research about wood to butchers and peel because somebody know a bit about them, won't they? Well, you, you put in your book that they had a scotch of shops in peel. All right, yeah. butcher shops. No, no, we don't need that many butcher no, shops. I was that. Just said shops. Right. Yeah. So they moved from here then into peel, didn't they? Yeah. And was he a vicar or something, do we find out? He was a, a preacher. preacher. And so people that were on the way from Greba over this road, he would wish them well on their journey. So, which is it's not far away from this house to that road, the main road, which I think is called the Lock Road, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Named after Governor Lock. Yeah, um, and yeah, they'd pass through this way to get north. Oh, this is definitely the road. Well, I think so. Yeah. yeah. It's quite strange, though, you know. We're up here today, there's nobody here. It's just us and a couple of sheep uh, looking like granite boulders, but that's another story. And um, there's nobody here. It's just us. And it's just so peaceful, isn't it? It's weird to think that, you know, he'd be here doing whatever he was doing in his croft, and then probably some part of his day was to go and, oh, there's a carp coming mm, i'll yeah. go and greet them preach them. walk to the end greet them back again might have been a busy road you know yeah, yeah. not yeah. as today's standards but you know yeah, people would be walking on a cart and cart or on a horse mm. moving sh moving animals mm. you know, i love it. i go romanticize about the past and i'm sure it was a shit time but i'll tell you what wouldn't it been much worse than what we're going through these days would it be different, different pain now compared to then, of course. But even so, didn't really have much more to worry about in the world, did they? Because didn't know they what was looked, going on. No, in exactly. The world. They looked after their land. Whatever was going on across seas, they'd find out about a week or a month later. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Mm. Quite sobering, really. And another thing about these things, I know people think, oh, it's a thousand years ago. It isn't. Like this place over here was. Uh, Inhabited in 1860, well, Bal Elson, the place he owned, was inhabited until the 1930s, and that's, you know, it's not that long ago. Not that long ago. Hmm. I'm cold. Oh, yeah? Yeah, and I want some food. Did I mention I'm yeah, hungry? Yeah, like a stuck record, you know, on loop. I'm hungry. Okay. Well... We're going to try and find a little extra for the video if we can. If we can't, we will have missed it. Well, it's a keel. It's a um, beery keel, I'm going to name it, uh, because it is a, supposedly around this area, but, and I've never seen it, but it's on the map. So, And it is on the internet, but like I say, it's, it just says beery, and it's not named. Uh, it's, there's, there's no reference, but if you do Google Earth it, you can see it. So... That's what we're looking for now. If you don't die of food. If I don't die of exhaustion and hunger and it's going to rain, there's no phone reception. She, does, she doesn't moan much. Go away then. Well, this is what I think is Beery Keel. Do you? It's a large one though, but it does look like a keel and it says that there is one up here. I don't agree with you, it's a big eel. It is big, yeah. Um, it's such a big one as this. Imagine not having a name on it. Yeah. 
Well, but, I mean, it's marked on the OS map. Well spotted. So you come up here, folks, you come to that footpath, we just come up. You turn to your right, it's only about 150, 200 yards along on your right. And Covered you in to, heather. And you don't have to trespass to visit it. Do you want to go? Do you want to go inside and walk around it? Oh right, yeah. Do you? No. Carl is going to try and walk around the hedges of it, or the walls of it to give us some idea how big it is. I don't. I don't want to hurt myself. It's only heather. Yes, but underneath the heather. Oh, I don't like it. It's like if it is a keel, it's bloody bricks in it. Stones. No, most of these kills were, sto uh, were sods, and oh, no bricks in here. <sighs> I'm alright standing here. So you don't want to do it? No. Even you do it. With. You do it. <sighs> well, that's the end of the video, Carla, for today. Yeah. A good ending, I feel, don't you? Yeah, I'm glad we found it. Yeah, me too. It's an achievement, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> so, as I was saying, this is the path to that little chapel. I was just walking back up to the footpath now to go home. I'm glad we found that. I am glad. The sun's nice. Quite warm, isn't it? You know, the interesting thing about a keel, which makes sense with that one, even though there's not much there, the um, the doors are always facing west and the altar east. Yeah. So that, that, you know, makes sense there. Part of their religion, wasn't it? That's how that would face, isn't it? Yeah. So if you go to M Mackold, the church faces that way and so do the three keels that are in them grounds. Yeah. So, yeah. Good girl. That's too big, isn't it? There's Carl traversing the uh, Labour River. I don't know why I'm excited because I'm going to go through the machine.